How's it going guys? Flickify here and I'm back again with episode 6 of my Aston Villa career mode and today it's finally time for some changes. I'm just sick of losing games so I felt like changing up the formation will help with that. So I decided to go with the 4-3-3 formation and it's just an attacking 4-3-3 and I changed up the work rates a little bit. So I gave my left winger, my right winger, my striker high low work rates and then the center attacking mid high medium and I think the center defending mids medium high if I am correct or medium medium something like that so we're gonna go into the first match against Cardiff and Cardiff's not too great of a team at least that's what I thought going into the game and it was pretty even in this first half we get the first major chance in the game Paredes with a good opportunity but unfortunately when that one does go wide don't really know how we missed that one that bad but you know it happens he's still a young guy and he's gonna find that form later on the season at least I hope so they're Miller with a good little finesse shot but it was saved by their keeper and they do manage to clear that one out keeps the game at nil nil and they get their first major opportunity here over the top through ball to Medell but Guzan makes a good initial save and Akori did cover the ball which was about to trickle back into the net so here in the still in the first half here Delph is going to find Egbon Lahore Egbon Lahore trying with the finesse shot that one hits the post I don't know what was happening throughout this game we were getting chance after chance but just no goals to show for it. and here in the 57th minute they're just going to go ahead and run right through Bellamy is going to look for the guy in the center and on this cross I don't know how we found that angle but Medell gets the first goal in the game making it 1-0 for Cardiff City City, and that was a good opening goal for them. You know, that was definitely not what I was expecting. I felt like we had the momentum throughout this game. And after conceding that first goal, guys, I don't I think it was me that just fell apart or the team's morale or something, but we just fell apart after that. Here, what just happened there? I mean, the defense basically just passed it back to him. I don't feel like I had any control over that, but Mandel gets his second goal in the game to make it 2-0 for Cardiff City. And Cardiff was just, I don't know, they, they used the momentum for their advantage. And here again, Medell, he just seems to be a class player for them. He's going to create so many chances for them. And this time, he's going to play the through ball. And that was completely my fault. If you guys caught that defender, I think it was Vlar who I just pulled off. I don't know. I'm just so bad at defending right now, guys. I don't know what it was, but... You know, I just think I need to be a little bit more patient when I go ahead and concede. I mean, when it's a nil-nil game, I feel like I'm a patient defender and all that stuff. But once I start getting the pressure, I just start to play pretty badly. And that was obviously the case in that game, getting the 3-0 loss. And I'm just, I don't know what to say, guys. I mean, I've had similar stuff happen this to me in my FIFA 13 career with uh, York City. And, you know, I went on like a six-game losing streak at one point. But eventually, I did turn it around. But right there... I don't, I don't understand that. Like, Long just is able to out-muscle my defender and just glide the ball right over the net and get it past the keeper. And I was just trying cross after cross, trying to get to Christian Benteke, who you would think as one of the best uh, finishers in the game, but he just wasn't able to get a goal for himself. And here at Bonlahor, he just drove a little bit too far. I think I used the pace a little bit too much and we weren't able to get a goal from it. But here, Fabian Delph is gonna send in the corner kick and somehow that is a penalty. I don't know what the penalty was for, but we're gonna take that because we're just not getting any chances. So we're gonna have to take a chance here with Christian Benteke on the penalty kick. And again, it just seemed like the penalty kick was weird, but luckily we did manage to convert that one to make it one to one at this point, getting his seventh league goal uh, so far this season for Christian Benteke, which is good to see. He's performed pretty well early in the season and that was kind of a bit of a goal drought for me. I mean, he hasn't scored in a couple games, but here nearly creates a second chance for himself, but the keeper does manage to save that one, keep the game at one to one. And here comes like, I do believe I did sub him in later in the game. He tries to finesse it around the keeper. The keeper makes a good save though. And here in the 87th minute, right around the end of the game, they are pushing forward. I was nervous at this point, guys. Sinclair sends in a cross. It's a shot on goal. Guzan does parry it away, but Nicholas Anelka. Just the dream crusher for me. And that is 2-1 at this point. And we get another loss, guys. It's it's just so disappointing for me to go ahead and to keep losing these games. And games that I feel that we at least deserve a draw from it. But there's not much else I can do, guys. I'm not going to, like, go ahead and if I lose games, I'm not going to replay them. I mean, it happens, Kuruma. It happens in real life. And I, I, ju I just want to be honest with you guys. I'm on a bit of a losing streak right now. I haven't played anywhere past this episode. But, you know, I think this is like a six-game losing streak or something. But Ron Vlar, we're looking to turn it around in this match against Sunderland. But they play extremely well with a good bit of passing. And that time, it was a good save by Guzan, who has performed pretty well. I'm pretty happy with how he's played so far this season. I think it's just our strike force that just isn't able to convert goals. And that's, I think, mainly my fault. But you never know. But there, Fletcher just gets it by the keeper. Again, 
I'm not going to complain too much. I'm not much of a complainer myself, not so for pretty much anything. And I don't think it's entertaining to listen to me complaining. So I'm just going to keep on going here. We're going to look for a goal to tie things up yet again. And Muller does really well to take the ball from the defender, ties things up one to one. And that was a goal we needed at that point. I was really wanting to get a win out of this match because, you know, we played par throughout those last two games and we didn't get the result we were looking for. So in this game, I was looking to pick up three points and nothing less than that. But they were just creating chances, chance after chance. And finally, Barini does manage to go ahead and somehow get a good shot on target there after the rebound. He just managed to hurdle Guzan and get a second goal for Sunderland to make it 2-1. to one. And I believe that is how the match also ended. So a 2-1 to one loss. That's three losses on this episode. And hopefully we can go ahead and change this. That is just my goal. I mean, just pick up a win or a draw or something. And again, I'm just going to, I don't know what else to change, guys. I feel like if I just keep on playing, we can maybe pick up some points. So hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I'm sorry for the losses, but hopefully we can turn this around sooner or later. And if you did enjoy the episode today, be sure to leave a like on the video, drop a comment below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Anyways, guys, this has been FlickFi. Hope to talk to you all soon.